Hi, 1E. So today we are going to finish reading Mercy Watson Fights Crime. So when we left off with Chapter 5, Leroy, who is stealing from the Watsons right now, had just sang Mercy to sleep. So this was the last picture that we saw. Chapter 6. That there, whispered Leroy, is a big pig. He reached into his shirt pocket. He pulled out a butter barrel candy. He unwrapped the candy and put it in his mouth. Hmm, Leroy thought. It might be a good idea for this cowboy to hit the trail. <clears throat> He picked up his bag. He stopped. Aw, shucks, said Leroy. The pig was blocking his way. There's no room to go around the pig, said Leroy. There's no room to go under the pig. Guess I gotta go over the pig. Leroy stepped forward. He flung one leg over the sleeping pig. The pig moved. Leroy Ninker froze. <clears throat> Chapter 7 Mercy woke up. Oink, she said. Easy now, said a voice. Mercy looked out of the corner of her eye. The little man was on her back. Mercy stood up. Steady, girl, said the little man. Mercy shook herself. The little man slid forward. Whoa there, he said. Mercy smelled something. What was it? Butter. Mercy looked around the kitchen. No bread, no toaster, but she definitely smelled butter. Maybe someone next door was making sugar cookies. Oink, said Mercy. She galloped out the open door. She galloped towards the Lincoln sisters' house. yippee i -o, shouted Leroy. Away we go. <clears throat> Chapter 8 Upstairs at Deckaloo Drive, Mrs. Watson woke up. Mr. Watson, she said. Mm-hmm, said Mr. Watson. Did you hear a noise, said Miss Watson. What sort of noise, dear? A yippee i -yo sort of noise, said Mrs. Watson. No, I did not hear a yippee i -yo sort of noise, said Mr. Watson. You were dreaming, my dear. I was, said Mrs. Watson. You were, said Mr. Watson. Go back to sleep. Mrs. Watson got out of bed. I think that I will go and check on Mercy, she said, and then I will go back to sleep. Excellent, mumbled Mr. Watson. A top-notch plan, my dear. Mr. Watson started to snore. Chapter 9 Inside the Lincoln sisters' house, baby Lincoln woke up. She went into her sister Eugenia's room. Sister, wake up, baby said. There's somebody outside shouting yippee i -yo. <clears throat> Did you have pie before bed again? Asked Eugenia. I did not, said baby. I think you did, said Eugenia. I did not, said baby. Go back to your room immediately, said Eugenia. Ah, oh, yes, sister, said Baby. Baby went back to her room. She got into her bed. She heard another yippee i -yo. Oh, dear, said Baby. I wish I had not eaten that pie. Chapter 10 yippee i -yo! Baby shouted. Come back here immediately, baby, shouted Eugenia. Baby got out of bed. 
She went into Eugenia's room. Yes, sister, said Baby. Did you hear that noise, said Eugenia. Was it a yippee-i-yo, sister? It was, said Eugenia. You are dreaming, said Baby. Nonsense, said Eugenia. Open the curtain. Baby opened the curtain, and together the Lincoln sisters watched Mercy gallop across the lawn. They watched the little man on her back take his cowboy hat off and wave it over his head. Yippee-i-yo, the little man shouted. <clears throat> that pig is disturbing the peace, said Eugenia, and so is the cowboy riding her. I am calling the police. Oh, sister, said Baby, are you sure it's not a dream? It's a nightmare, said Eugenia. That is what it is. Chapter 11 Next door, Mrs. Watson discovered that Mercy was not in her bed. Mr. Watson, she shouted, come at once. Mr. Watson came at once. Mercy is not here, said Mrs. Watson. Are you certain? asked Mr. Watson. Have you looked under the bed? Mrs. Watson bent over. She is not there, said Mrs. Watson. Mr. and Mrs. Watson stood together in Mercy's room. What should we do? asked Mrs. Watson. Yippee-i-yo! It's that noise again, said Mrs. Watson. Mr. Watson went to the window. He opened the curtain. He looked outside. Mrs. Watson, said Mr. Watson, we must call the fire department immediately. It's an emergency. <clears throat> Chapter 12 In reality, Lee Reininger was a small thief on the back of a big pig. But in Leroy's mind, he was a cowboy riding a bucking bonkaroo in the wild, wild west. Being a cowboy is hard work, said Lee Reininger. I need some refreshment. Leroy reached into his shirt pocket. He grabbed hold of a butter barrel candy. He unwrapped it with one hand and he put it in his mouth. <clears throat> ah, said Leroy Ninker, this is the life. But just then, the pig kicked up her heels. The pig bucked, the pig reared. Leroy Ninker lost his grip. Yippee, said Leroy. He flew through the air. I, said Leroy. He landed on his back. Oh, said Leroy Ninker. Chapter 13. Mercy sniffed. There was that delightful smell again, butter. Where was it coming from? She looked around. She saw the little man lying on the ground. She sniffed his face. Hee hee, the little man said, that tickles. Mercy snuffled the man's shirt. Hee hee, he said again. In order to snuffle the man better, Mercy sat on top of him. Hee hee, get off of me, said the man. Mercy put her snout in the man's shirt pocket. She sniffled some more. Oh, hee hee, said the little man, help. Mercy found a piece of candy. She bit into it. It was sweet. It was lovely. It was very, very buttery. Mercy sat on top of the little man and chewed. A siren wailed. Aw, oh, shucks, said the man. Chapter 14. The fire, de the fire department arrived first. 
We have been to this house before, said the fireman named Ned. You are right, said the fireman named Lorenzo. This is the house with the pig. And the toast, said Ned. We ate toast at this house. I see the pig, said Lorenzo. He pointed at Mercy. The pig is sitting on somebody. Good grief, said Ned. Ned and Lorenzo got out of the fire truck. They saw Mr. and Mrs. Watson running out the front door of their house. They saw Eugenia Lincoln and Baby Lincoln running out the front door of their house. This is an interesting job, isn't it, said Ned. Very interesting, said Lorenzo. <clears throat> Chapter 15 Officer Tomalello pulled into the driveway of 54 Decalu Drive. In the yard, he saw two firemen, three women in nightgowns, and one man in pajamas. They were all gathered around a pig. Is that the same pig I caught driving a convertible, he asked himself. It is, he answered himself. It is exactly the same pig. Officer Tomalello squinted. Is that pig sitting on top of somebody? Officer Tomalello asked himself. That certainly looks to be the case, he answered himself. Officer, officer, shouted Baby. Come quickly. Mercy has caught a thief. Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson and Eugenia Lincoln and Baby Lincoln and Ned and Lorenzo and Officer Tomalello all looked down at Mercy. Are you a thief? Officer Tomalello asked the man underneath the pig. Uh, I am, said Leroy Ninker. I am a thief. Were you robbing these people? Officer Tomalello asked. I was, said Leroy Ninker, until that pig got involved. Gentlemen, said Officer Tomalello, will you assist me in removing the pig? On the count of three, Ned and Lorenzo and Officer Tomalello lifted Mercy off of Leroy Ninker. You are under arrest, said Officer Tomalello. It's that pig you should be arresting, said Eugenia Lincoln. Leroy Ninker stood with his cowboy hat in his hand. He looked down at his feet. Oh, officer, said Mrs. Watson, the thief is so tiny. Shouldn't he have something to eat before you arrest him? Maybe he needs some toast, said Ned. With a great deal of butter on it, added Lorenzo. Toast? asked Officer Tomalello. Who needs toast? Why, Everyone needs toast, said Mrs. Watson. Even cowboys, said Leroy Ninker. Mercy pricked up her ears. Toast? Butter? At last, she headed for the Watson's kitchen, and everyone followed her. Chapter 16 the next morning, the front page of the newspaper read, She is a poor sign wonder, said the pig's owner, Mrs. Watson. She is a very, very brave dear, said Mr. Watson, husband of Mrs. Watson and proud co-owner of the pig. She is a sly pig, said the Watson's neighbor, Eugenia Lincoln, and things with her are never as they seem. <clears throat> Baby Lincoln, sister to Eugenia Lincoln, remarked that the most interesting things seem to happen 
when one has pie right before bed. The pig did capture the thief, said police officer Bert Tomolello. How it happened? I am not certain. But did it happen? It did. Fireman Ned Fortune and Lorenzo Wiz were also at the scene. They both agreed that the pig had some amazing abilities. They also pointed out that Mrs. Watson made excellent toast. The thief, Leroy Ninker, is interested in reforming himself. He would like to become a cowboy. The pig has nothing to say, but she seemed very pleased with herself. All right, I hope you enjoyed this story of Mercy Watson Fights Crime. Stay tuned for another Mercy Watson story. Bye.